Hello, good night. I'm making a video here. Um, uh, quite difficult to uh, stay consistent, but uh, here I am. Um, I have been learning a lot about the law of assumption. And I'm, I'm just going to speak my thoughts here. Um, a little try to speak my thoughts. Fluently, you know, uninhibitedly. Law of assumption. Assume you can have it. Assume you already have it. The law of assumption is assume you can do it. Assume you can attain it. Assume you can achieve it. Assume you can find success. Assume that you can become a millionaire. Assume that you are already successful. Assume that you are in your perfect marriage. Assume that you are strong, powerful, and confident, and brave. So that you can do whatever it is that you set yourself upon. Whatever it is that you set upon yourself, right? And that was, uh, I've been described as a, a leaf in the wind. And then I go with the flow. Or I don't have any, I never, I never stand on any solid ground, you know, I'm always just drifting by. What are my goals? What are my goals? I always say it's a perceived, a certain state of quality of mind. For being what they call Buddha nature or Christ consciousness. And I never get attached to any image that any image that is um, cemented in form. But I realize it's more of a I don't get attached. I mean, getting attached to anything isn't a positive thing. It's more like I don't set uh, I don't attach a vision to my goal. And it's more of a sense of fear more than anything else. Fear of it. Maybe it's a fear of not being able to achieve it. I mean, I'm afraid to say anything. I'm afraid to say that I'm going to do a certain thing that's tangible. Of course, I'm going to do a certain thing that's uh, anchored in form. And I always have this assumption that I'm speaking, but my words are not making any sense to the listener. And I was about to say that. I assume. I was about to say, I assume this is not making any sense to you. And that's a negative assumption. You know, we can, we can have negative assumptions and positive assumptions. And an assumption I've always had is an assumption that nobody understands me or nobody understands what I'm saying. And if that's the assumption I, I attach myself with, that's, that's what I'm calling for from this reality. And, 
right now I feel like I am knocking on many walls, invisible walls. Knocking on this many invisible walls that I want to break through. Because this is what all this was about from the start, you know? Self-expression, self-exploration, self-contemplation, reflection through the medium of uh, video recording. And I assume that this is making some sort of impact upon my, my life. So, my sense of my ability to express myself, to put myself out there, to flow, to be fluent, to be at ease with the state of me expressing uninhibited, you know, without inhibitions. So, as I speak here, I'm trying to identify where it is that I don't allow myself to pass through. And again, I circle back to what it is, a goal, a tangible goal that's set in an image. I don't want to subscribe to any one goal. Like, what is my goal? I mean, when you ask me what's my purpose, I will say to anchor loving attention upon myself. And I'm not attached to where that may lead me, but I anchor loving attention. And the words of loving attention comes from Ram Das. And I really love, like that. Anchoring loving attention. Always being present and being in a constant state of flow, what they call the flow state. That's a purpose, that's a goal. And as I said before, my goal is more, is less, uh, less about an image or something that's, uh, cemented in form. It's more of a, the quality. I want to achieve a quality. This quality of success, of easiness, of flow, of easiness, of being present, of loving attention, being powerful, being uh, fully erect in my masculine, loving attention, here, now, always, sure of myself, uninhibited by negativity or negative thoughts or negative self-talk. and. I'm getting there every day more and more. I go on. I go on through life without. I go on. I go on. I flow through my day without being stuck in the mud of negative self talk. And I've noticed this in myself a lot. And it's amazing, really. It's amazing how I've I just gotta keep trusting myself. I can keep trusting my process. And maybe one day I'll have a tangible goal that I want to achieve. And, but right now, if I try to think about it, I maybe my goal is just to be fully present here. And Keep attracting more abundance to me. And, and the other day, I just, I just had this thought the other day. I had this thought, um, well, you know, before going to bed, 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 I take a few moments to, uh, I take a few minutes to listen to some positive affirmations or affirmations. And, and then I go, I go to bed with that in my mind. And as I was doing this, I, I thought to myself, 
I'm, I'm going to be the first millionaire in my family. doesn't make any sense, but I assume that I can achieve it. And I go, circle back to my life a little bit more, and I remember my wife would ask me, what do you want to do in your life? What do you want to do? And I'll tell her, I want to do the unthinkable. I want to do the unthinkable. And me being a billionaire, or me being a billionaire, is even more unthinkable. So let's do that. So I'm just a guy standing, I'm just a guy in front of a camera, shirtless, saying that I assume I can achieve being a millionaire. I assume I can achieve being a millionaire. And as I say these words, I feel like they're pres presumptuous, presumptuous. Um, like I, I shouldn't, like this sense of I'm not allowed to say that or think that, or like, oh, who do you think you are? This sort of sense, you know. But I don't care. I'll say it again. I am going to be a millionaire. I assume it's true. I'm on the way. I'm moving towards that reality. I'm already there. I'm calling it forth. It's also this other thing that I've been learning about. Put yourself on the on the ending of your road. On the so instead of walking towards your goal, you are already your goal. And you see yourself and you're looking backwards. I really don't know how to say this really. You are watching yourself go to where you already are, to where you want to be, which is where you already are. You can have anything you want. Assume that you can have every, anything you want. Assume that you can be anything you want. And so I call forth all of the wealth in the world. I, I am open. I am open to let all of the wealth and abundance in the world to come through me. I'm going to ride that wave and I'm going to keep practicing saying these words and these phrases again and again and again and again. Even though there's uh, something that tries to or there's, there's this sense that tries to inhibit me or stop me from saying these things. But I'll say it again. I had this thought. It told me, I am going to be the first millionaire in my family. And you have to be mindful of the words that you allow yourself to say out loud. Fine. There's negativity in the mind. You don't have to say it. 
let it your mind i mean you have your inner filter filter out all the bad stuff all the negative self-talk filter it out you don't have to say it say the good stuff say the positive thing say say the empowering words and you keep accumulating power and that snowball keeps on growing keep on building momentum we're getting places we are getting places and we are growing powerful we are getting better every single day every single day amen good night thanks for watching see you on the next one I love you. I love you.